morning, Sharon. Hello, Pat. How, How are you? Very well, thank you. It's a beautiful day. It's a lovely day. Hi, uh, Pat. You are from the Alps team at Legate Immobilier. Mm -hmm. um, and we're here on this beautiful mountainside uh, to have a little chit chat about you and the area. Um, so tell us a bit about yourself. How long have you been with Legate? I've been with Leggett for about three years now, and uh, I'm based in Maribel, which is the middle resort of the three valleys. So mm -hmm. we're the one, the valley that's right in the centre of it all. Um, I've been in Maribel for 39 years, which is an awfully long time. So I know it quite well, <laughs> just about. Got a lot of local knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> know a lot of people, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So what have you been doing in those 39 years? Uh, well, I came over as a ski instructor and I'm still wearing this beautiful red uniform, which is part of the ESF. And, um, did that for many, many years and um, just slowly moved over to the property side of things because I know everybody. Well, I guess it's kind of a natural yeah, transition. Absolutely. So what sort of property do you get over there? We have, Marybelle's a chalet resort. So we were built, set up by the Brit British right back in, the, in 1939. Mm -hmm. And we've always had this kind of little chalet profile and that's been going on ever since the beginning. They had a really very strict uh, code for building right back at the beginning and they've managed to carry that right through to today. And we've got this wonderful setup of beautiful chalets all spread out over the whole of the valley. And uh, I'm sitting right in the middle of that, Lovely. which is really good. So how did your interest in property start? Basically, uh, I could see that we're, we've come out of a period where there's been very little growth. Mm -hmm. And I thought, why not jump onto the bandwagon and uh, use my, my skills and my contacts to get some of these chalets sold. Okay, so were you were you ski instructoring throughout your thirty nine years? Yeah, wow, absolutely. Yeah. So, how many kids do you think you've taught to ski? Oh my god, that's <laughs> that's, a, that's a difficult question to ask. Thousands, probably. Yeah, thousands. Probably. My god. Yeah, a lot of them have grown up and bought property in Marymount as well. So oh right. So, do go, you have yeah. anyone you taught to ski who's a client? Not yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Working well, that on should, that. Yeah, that should Working be your that, your next thing that you need to do. <laughs> yes. So what is the skiing like in Mirabel? You say you're the middle resort. Just talk us through how that all works. Well, we have, obviously, because we're in the middle, you can go in the morning. People think of this place as the three valleys, and mm -hmm. it's saint Courcheval and Mirabel in the middle. Uh, you can go anywhere. So people jump out of bed in the morning and, and look at the weather and see if it's a beautiful day like this. Where should we go? Should we go to the far side? Should we go to Courcheval? Um, we have quite a lot of off-piste here, which a lot of people like. It's easily accessible, so outside of the lift area you have another two valleys on either side and another one at the far end, so right. I think in total there's about six valleys that you can ski through and ski down in one way or another. Um, people are interested in all of that, so we have something for everybody which is fantastic. And uh, we have a very good beginners area, so small children can get started okay. really comfortably. A um, lot of intermediate skiing and it's predominantly an intermediate resort, so you can be nice and comfortable all day long. A uh, few scary things for the extreme people, right? but it's it's basically just something for everybody. Really. I mean, it is a huge area, it's isn't it? It's the biggest in the world. Yeah, biggest 600 kilometers of skiing, it's fantastic. So tell us a little bit about the property market here, um, like prices, and we've talked a little bit about yeah. property types, yeah. but what kinds of things can do you have a broad range? We have a pretty broad range. Obviously the budgets are very different from one valley to the next. Um, we have price ranges that, um, are particularly sensitive to proximity to skiing. Obviously, if you're mm -hmm. really close to the skiing, you're going to pay premium top dollar for, for a property. And then if you go down in the villages, which are a little bit more remote, you get better value for money. You've got a little bit more uh, of, a, of a kind of a, an environment that is more, more natural, I would say. You know, the, the ski resorts themselves are pretty much artificial. You're in a place that doesn't really happen outside of skiing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, there's, there's quite a range. You can buy apartments, you can buy chalets, you can buy luxury chalets, you know, you have 60,000 euros a square meter in Courchevel, and you can get something for 3,000 euros a square meter in one of the villages. So there's everything in between those those two extremes is, is available. So it's, it's, it's a massive range. Yeah, because I think that's one of the things that's quite interesting as well, is that sometimes people think of ski areas as being quite an artificial area, but there's an awful lot of very real places where oh, people yeah, yeah. actually live, and there's still a real sense of community. Yeah, traditional villages, we've got loads of them here. The Three Valleys is full of those and they've all been um, integrated into the resort areas so that people can access skiing quite quite easily and comfortably from them. And it's just that, you know, you can live here all year long and be really, really happy. It's just a, it's just a wonderful place it to live. It is a beautiful, beautiful place, wonderful place, place to live. I mean, who wouldn't want to wake up in the morning and see that? It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's been brilliant to talk to you. Thank you very much you indeed. Very much, and I'm looking forward to going skiing with Let's you. Let's do it. Bit. Hello. Hi. Hi. 
We're on the lift, on the way up.